So hey, everybody, we're, we're here on Everything Money. I'm here with Paul. He's at the table. He is not at the board today. We People, you guys asked for this. Our dear patrons, you know I love you. You guys asked for Paul to react to videos. This man does not watch YouTube. We beg him. We send him videos <laughs> on a daily basis, and then we just stop because he will not spend 12 seconds of his life to watch anything. That's not 100% true. I can assure you <laughs> he has never seen any of these videos. And so um, that's true. We're gonna, so we're going to show you some videos and he will get you honest. Paul, Paul, we're not going to get monetized for this. So you might as well say whatever the hell you oh, want. Oh, we're not? There's no way we're playing someone else's stuff. Okay, good. Now, can I make a comment here? Please do. Uh, can I make a comment? Go ahead. Um, what's my good? Whenever you guys send me a video, what do I always say? I don't watch videos. It's so ironic that we have a YouTube channel. I refuse to watch videos. I've begged you because I have such a great team around me who watches all the videos in the world. I have all such a great team. They watch all the videos for me. They sit there. I'm just the pretty face and the brains. I just come in and do my shtick. So um, I talk about all the time on this show <laughs> some of our comp maybe competition or other influencers on YouTube who are, who are guiding new investors toward a bu buying certain stocks, whether they're disciplined investings or day trading or whatever. Now, some people, I make, I make it very clear that some folks do not differentiate between a value investing disciplined approach and just general trading. So, I, Paul, I give you a gentleman, a lovely person. I'm sure he's a great guy. I'm going to show you a video. We're going to pause when we get your thoughts. OK, this video was recorded in January. OK, OK, it's concerning a topic that's very hot. And um, he's in January or right now. It was in January. Okay. Um, and it's about a, a stock that uh, had exciting news in January. It was around $55, $58. They were expecting a huge explosion. The same stock is now at $38. Okay. So that, that's the premise. Are you ready, my friend? Let's do it. I'll pause it whenever you're ready. Go, here we go. This is not financial advice, but you already know I got some bangers for you today. <laughs> and contrary to popular belief, Neo bangers. actually didn't beat those delivery records. Just like the hater said, just like the doubter said, psych, I lied. You know Neo knocked them delivery records out the park. They beat it by hundreds of deliveries. <laughs> hundreds of deliveries. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew right off the oh, bat. That's great. <laughs> hundreds, yeah, hundreds of deliveries. Keep going. We we're gonna get between sixteen five and seventeen thousand deliveries, but they actually knocked that way out of the park. So don't invest in the companies you don't believe in, that you don't understand, because if you do that, you know what? You won't buy the dips. You're gonna sell low, and then you're gonna be in the comments crying to me, and you know I'm not having that. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, just stay out of the kitchen and consider. I love investing this guy. We need him on the channel. Cry. What do you love about him? I mean, he's just so animated and great. I love the bow tie. I literally love. Like, if I knew nothing about stocks, I would be listening to this guy 1,000. So this is his shtick: is get your oven mitts ready. Get your oven mitts ready. These are so hot bangers. Oh my lord, these are great. Listen to his analysis. <laughs> it's, it's it's quite incredible. Merrily, you might even want to look into Arc Index funds because they're actually really good. Now, if you're not one of those 13,200 people that hit that notification bell, you missing out on something good. So what I want you to do is subscribe to the channel. So he only has 13,200 subscribers? No, no, he's got a zillion. Oh, oh, let's talk about it. We already know they manufacture, they design, and they sell electric vehicles over in China. Uh huh. But you know what? He does his research. Chinese government, we what is, know that they're trying to phase out. <laughs> it's research because he knows they make electric vehicles in China. Now, why is that important? Because this is setting Neo up. Of course. To be the prime. Yep. 14 years from now. 14 years from now. <laughs> this is going to be nuts. Because nothing's ever China, gone wrong in 14 is, years. They're already <laughs> the top EV market in the entire world, and Europe is second. But let's get into why okay. the delivery number that they knocked out of the park. Is so has he told us what the delivery the knockout price. was? A lot of big institutions right now actually saying that Neo is it's like that. Tesla early on. Oh, a few years back. Oh, well, you got to buy then. Let's look at some of the numbers. <laughs> I mean, there's no reason not Tesla to. Tesla was founded in 2003. This is good. Between 2014 and 2015, Tesla passed the 40,000 delivery a year mark. 40,000 right? and, and to think Ford to thinks they're impressive for selling millions a year. year. <laughs> 40,000 cars. Isn't that incredible? You know, I want to grab the table because of all the wind that's blowing over here, blowing me away with all this. But, but Paul Neo beat beat their goals by hundreds of vehicles. <laughs> you know, I literally, when he started to say that, I was like, oh my God, they do hundreds of thousands of cars. And he's like, hundreds. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Hundreds. Okay. All right, hold on. So Quinn, make sure as we're both laughing, you can switch back and forth between the two of us as we're talking and laughing. Got it? Just like the show. 
If I talk, switch, 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 switch. All right, here we go. Hundreds right. of cars. 1.4 billion, 1.5 billion people in China. They sold hundreds more cars. Here we go, Paul. Was founded in 2014. Ooh. And in 2020, that's mm -hmm. when they passed the 40,000 deliveries in a year mark. Now, it took Neo six years to do something that took Tesla 11 years to do. Well, then. Now, that's crazy. Gotta buy. Let's be clear on this. Yep. Neo does not hide the fact that they are learning from Tesla's mistakes and uh -huh. Tesla's just ability to succeed. That's how they're able to grow so exponentially uh -huh. and compared to Tesla. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Now, even before those deliveries though, the Bank of America, they upgraded oh, their price target. Analysts are Neo. never they wrong. I mean, the analysts term, who were selling good ratings in 2000 in for addition now, to public to private thing. schools, they're never wrong. Neo Day, it's on January 9th. Here comes Neo Day. Neo Day. Now our friend Darnell now, bought some right that's before Neo Day. He did. We know a lot of the rumors with Apple. That Neo shares driven higher as Apple partnership rumors build. So rumors. Whatever happened to those Apple partnership Instagram, rumors? Now look, this was my first down, trade. Down, I did buy before Neo Day, Paul. Did you? I sold on the. I bought on Monday. Friday. Sold on Monday. You're distracting me. Sorry. Shout out to us for that. Shout out to people that follow me on Instagram. Raise the price from 5470 to 59. It hit 65. We know where this is going. We know. Currently, Neo is 48 dollars a share. They're up one percent on a day they're up five percent on a week and they're up thirteen hundred percent on a year what Thir do we want to look out for on neo day yeah tell us what do we want to look out for <laughs> we want to look out for we're looking for that bow tie we already I love his outfit. Hey, he's incredible. Kilowatt hour battery. That shirt's great. What we really want to look out for is their autonomous driving. Mm -hmm. What is that about? What yeah. does that entail? We Please know that level four autonomous driving can drive on the streets. We know that level five autonomous driving could be a robo taxi and just the cars driving this around true. itself. That is true. They're doing this in so Vegas now. now. We're trying to look at what level Are they really? Is yeah, they built a loop and everything driving. for Teslas. What oh. did they bring to the game? So they have level this, five in Vegas? Now, uh, that's apparently they're really saying that you can uh, you can know. cut off 45 minute now, walks, make them two minutes long. They, they built a loop. It's in the news this week. Batteries in terms of being able to upgrade. No mention yet of revenue, battery, profit, previous models. Now, Margin, news, nothing. Actually, because it doesn't matter, right? Because I would say there's a lot of exciting that's the news. We're in. Obsolescence. Now let's go through it. Planned obsolescence. Apple actually got sued years ago for playing obsolescence. This is true. Remember when the iPhones were so uh, crapping out on themselves? Because then when did you get new phones? After you had it for two years. Now imagine that an EV company did something like that with their batteries and they couldn't hold a charge after a certain That'd amount suck. of time. That suck. Then. With the Apple phones, you have to buy an entire. How long new is this video? This is the longest I've watched the video in my entire life. I think. Charge for your phone, <laughs> right? So then Apple got sued because of that. Okay. Now, what sets Neo apart is their upgradable battery and their swappable. Battery. Is there any reference to numbers in this thing they besides they crushed by hundreds of cars? And then made it so it couldn't. Let you want to skip. No, skip. keep watching. I still want to keep watching. I think this is incredible. Let, let's yeah, skip go forward this from a there. Let's just see. Okay, let's let's press play. Okay, let's see where he's at here. All the way down to forty-three dollars yeah. a share, which presents us with a buying opportunity. Of they like forty dollars a share. It's got to be. A, share this is a different no company. This, cap. this is a different company. This is Xpeng. Oh, is what's Xpeng? Different EV company. They're down two percent on a day. They're up three percent on a week, and they're down twenty-four percent. Gotta in buy. Month. Woo! And they're up eighty-seven percent on a year. Nine Wall Street. Gotta buy. Xpeng. Seven of them say you should buy at the current price. So One this is like confused it. about. One say you Go sell. on. The, the reason they say you should buy it when it's going up, that means when it's going down, shouldn't you sell it? But they don't sit there and say that. They sit there and say, buy more. Buy more. But it's like, well, wait a second. In value investing, it's literally when one thing happens and the opposite thing happened, you have a different response to them. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's going up like crazy. Hey, has it hit your price target? Sell it. It's going down like crazy. Did you reevaluate it? It still makes sense. Buy more. In, in, in this kind of, when people talk about this hype, it's all about, Oh, it's going to the moon. Buy more as it goes up. Oh, it fell. Oh, it's going to the moon. Buy. It's like, well. Well, so you've never said this. On the Everyone always says buy the dip. You never say the words buy the dip. No, I mean, ever. it's like this is like their slogan. It's like now. By the way, it's not a dip. Twenty four percent in a month is not a dip. <laughs> <laughs> by so, the dip. It's like saying hundreds of cars. They blew out their expectations by hundreds of cars. <laughs> I'm still not over that so, one. So after this video, it did go up to like $65 the price. What's Neo at now? Um, 38 bucks, maybe. Well, do we buy the dip then? That, that's what his videos are saying now. So here's the interesting part, Seth. If I believed in Neo's numbers and it went down to 38, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, okay, buy more. But the thing is, it's all based on how, what's the market cap of Neo? We don't even know what the market cap is. What he hasn't done yet is compare Neo to Tesla, Ford, Honda, Toyota. And how many of these car companies are working on EV right now? All of them. Right? Every single one. Now, 
Would Leo possibly do better because they're in China and there's 1.5 or 1.6 billion people in China? Sure, whatever, that's fine. But do you know the hurdles it's going to take to have a successful car company? It, it, look at Elon Musk. He literally was like working 120 hours a week saying he didn't sleep and they almost went bankrupt two or three times. Yeah. Guys, starting a car company is not easy. And, and it's like literally looking at this going, he's not accounting for any, he's talking about 14 years from now. I wouldn't even make a guess on 14 years from now for Google and Microsoft without feeling like, oh boy, maybe I'm going to be wrong on this one. This is a company that's brand spanking new that's made 40,000 cars in 2017. Like, come on, really? This is not a, it's so trivial. They're being so cavalier about how easy business is. I mean, we sit here every single day talking about everything money. How hard is it? How difficult? How much, how long did we meet yesterday about everything money talking about just the new change in videos and things like that we're going to do? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Three hours of discussing like ins and outs of a very small business. A very small business that we can all control very easily. And here's Neo, a company that's overseas, that's battling technology, that's battling Fannie Mae factoring, all these things, and battling the biggest competitors in the world. And we're looking out 14 years from now. Oh, well, China's going to grow. Like, guess what, guys? His argument about China is going to have all EV. Great. How many car companies and air, airline, car, airlines were created in the last 120 years? An airline has just... Uh, cars and airlines have just skyrocketed, but how many hundreds and hundreds of each one of those in the industry went bankrupt? Don't talk to me about potential of the sector. The more potential the sector, the more competition. The more competition, the more likely for failure. So please take your head out of the sand and stop thinking that the market size matters for each individual company. It matters for the sector, not for each individual. This is absolutely, listen, love the bow tie, love the jacket, love the shirt, love the hair. This is, um, I don't think we have to drag this out much more, but this is- there is, anything else I need to watch in this thing? This is Keenan Grace. Um, I would I say- I like him. We need to have him on the show. If I was young, I, I, I would, I would, I'm drawn to How many excitement. subscribers does he have? And that's the real question. He has, I think, I mean, maybe a misquote, at least 150, 160,000 subscribers. You know why? It's his personality. Yeah. He's, he's great. Yeah. I'd rather listen to him than Stockmo. And so he has a, uh, yeah, he has a lot of bangers and um, he's brought this. And so he's done a ton of videos on Neo, on, on, on Workhorse, on all of them. And um, I, I do know. So they're all, all of a sudden, all these companies are going to be the biggest companies ever. There's, 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 there's no, I mean, oh man, I feel bad. I feel bad for people who believe this. Well, Paul, I don't think, like I said, it's not a stupidity thing. They just don't know. If they go on YouTube, know, you're going to get right. pushed to something like this. You're right. And this it, is why I think the next when we finally do have the permanent crash, it's going to be a long, drawn-out process. And that's why I'm glad people watch us because we're going to be there to say, guys, if you liked stocks at 4,000, you're going to be absolutely in love with them at 1,500 to 2,000. You should. I just, I don't think... All these, I want to see a two. I want to see five years from now how many of the companies we talk about today are still around. You know what people are going to say? Yeah, but those ones were obviously dumb. Now these new ones. Yes. This is what happens every single bull market, every single time, every single time. People who don't learn from the past are doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past. Right? Yeah. This is what happens every freaking time. Well, that's Paul's React, guys. Uh, we're going to do more of these. You want to get your first uh, first take on this and see what you think. You guys are asking for it. We'll see. We'll post it so you guys like it. We're trying not to make too many enemies, but uh, I do love this guy. I'm drawn Flame to on. Him. I'm going to burn those bridges. <laughs> Listen, I've told you before, I, have a, I take it as a personal requirement of myself to call people out when there's inaccurate, misleading information. There's a difference between difference of opinions and just being inaccurate and wrong. I hate to say it, but... All the information is spitting out. I mean, I guess it's correct. He's just quoting articles, right? Yeah. But the assessment of it is just absolutely misleading and wrong. And I think with his personality, if he spent a little more time learning, he would have a phenomenal YouTube channel and he'd make a ton of money just by learning a little bit more about what it takes to really invest and understand numbers. Plus to me, it's way more admirable to be able to read a financial statement than to sit there and say, oh, this company is the hype. This company is the jam and go, I mean... What's more admirable? Like I, you show me a financial statement, I can tell you in two seconds whether I'm interested or not. That to me is way more intelligent and way more brilliant than, man, this 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 stock is banging. <laughs> I love him. Could you have a mitts ready? Oh, it's the best. Keenan, if you see this, we want you on the show, bro. If you if you want to, give us a don't little, hate me, Keenan. I, I I like you. You're you're you seem like a very nice gentleman, and I'd love to have you on the show and have a spirited conversation about this. But he's probably like losers with twenty nine thousand subscribers. <laughs> yeah. F this guy. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Fondle the thumbs up on the way out. Keenan, give us a call. We'll have you on. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you.